the subjects of honest arguments and legitimate controversies. While the southern portion has three-fifths of a certain kind of property represented, while the north has no property represented, reason should contend with error for victory, trusting to its innate strength. And until after the secession of the Gulf states the moderate tariff of 1857 was in operation, with no probability of its repeal. Moreover, remarkable revolution. The absence of the fugitive law will necessarily drive all the slaves from what are called the border states, and he must be politician who dreams here in England that free trade with all the world and direct taxation for revenue wants to be the policy of the new and expensive military empire which will arise. Manufacturers of cotton and woolen wants to develop every single one of them. So, I tried posting a video on a backup channel that went over these things that are listed here in this letter. Um, the video uh, that I posted, it derived the man who wrote this letter. Uh, he was a uh, ambassador for the United States to, um, uh, what's that place over there? Uh, I'm not hungry. Um, I can't think of the name over there. Austria. He was the United States ambassador to Austria, and he's writing this letter. And I could not believe what these gentlemen were pointing out that he wrote. Um, what got me was going to be towards the end of this. This is a long, you know, um, article. Uh, I even pulled up, uh, found the article on the University of Michigan, where they have like the official pages. So I'm going to try to post all three articles, the video, the University of Michigan's um, pages on it and this as well because in their way they're also admitting that there were already an endless amount of our people here so the atlantic slave trade was literally about bringing over africans meaning them to here because uh, they already had the people here that they were looking to enslave you know and negro is just the code word for you know the uh and population of an um, indigenous people that were here but on the backup page I posted on YouTube blogged it it said that I was violating its content yada 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 when all I did was once again just post a video of these men reading the same article you know to uh, you know to each other and debating it and I didn't even say a word and the video has been on YouTube for like eight years I think so um, let me keep going here and real quick I was just thinking about it the things that it's listing here, right, by ending what they call the fugitive laws for the border states and capturing, you know, the, the land of Texas and the western states, it seems, they got what they were what they were desiring out of it. The ability, what did it say there for England? England that freed trade and with all the world and the desire for taxation, they got that, right? Because, I mean, I'm still, you know, trying to get to the bottom of this, because I still believe you're not free if someone else has the capability to tax you. And they made a big deal about it, right? Taxation without representation, right? Because don't, and, and don't they you know, dramatize it with the whole Boston, you know, Tea Party thing, you know, you, Throwing the, you know, you know, you see what I'm saying. I hope, and, and then the part where it, where it got my, you know, attention too, was their desire from out of this, that it would be, the political, or the, I'm sorry, that it would be the policy of the new, and, um, uh, military empire, which will arise, and you know, don't we always talk about, you know, we're in a, uh, you know, the uh, military industrial complex and the buck act doesn't it favor the military so manufacturers of cotton and woolen wants to be on the safe side as well as in the northern slave states that other cry from the gulf of mexico now partially suppressed for obvious reasons for the African slave trade. 
to establish a great Gulf empire, including Mexico, Central America, Cuba, and other islands, with unlimited cotton fields and unlimited Negroes. This is the golden vision in pursuit of which the great republic has been sacrificed. The beneficent constitution subverted, and already the vision has fled, but the work of destruction remains. Do you see that? 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 That's what made me stop and say, who is this dude? Who is this ambassador? Why is he writing this letter to Austria? If I remember correctly, I believe it was Austria. It was Austria or Sweden, but I believe it was Austria. I'm like, why is he writing this letter to them about this? Is their grand master <laughs> over them? Where they're getting their heads and orders and stuff like that. Is he a, is he in uh, Austria? Is this where you know he sits over there because he doesn't want to sit you know be over here because he knows better? Like, why is he writing this specific letter about the future that you know they're desiring? You know, over there, over to Europe to let them know this is the plans. This is what's going on. And you see that, and you see that it revolves around what the the tearing down of the republic and then the rise of democracy. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, yo, it just really, uh, it was really weird. It was really weird. And, and like I said, you see there, the African trade slave had nothing, it seems like it had nothing to do with us coming over. And on our people, our people were already here. <laughs> you know? Um, and uh, oh, real quick, guys, real quick. Um, in my last video that I put up, um, I went back, I was listening, I misspoke. I said I was looking in a Irish dictionary. That was, no, I was looking in a Scottish dictionary. Okay. Uh, I was looking in a Scottish dictionary. Um, and that's where I had seen, you know, some things I thought were interesting. Um, you know, and it all goes back to the credit to Arthur Scott and conversations we had years ago, um, uh, where he was uh, pointing out that what Scott means black. And we were talking about, you know, like the place of Scottsdale, Arizona. Uh, Dale means uh, valley, the Black Valley, or or is it saying the Valley of the Blacks? <laughs> you know, I mean, you guys know how I feel. I feel like, uh, ooh, I feel. I mean, you know, I I look at it like this when I look at the Western states that the four corner states are important. I feel like people are sitting in the in what used to be an, an important spot for us when you see where now the reservations are um, for the Four Corners. There were they're right there on the New Mexico and Arizona, and right there below the Utah and Arizona. And I feel like you know it's it's something you come and see me think you know you see they move out the enemy and then they go in there and take the land that they think is lush and riches or that was important for whatever religious you know ceremonies and all these things and i'm not saying we're not, we need to go there because just like in all the narratives that i read and, and you know we learn about it seems like yeah the enemy go and take they took your spot and now they they're there and your spot's going to be a different spot in the future your spot's going to be a spot that no one ever thought you know had any worth any value desired i mean look at the what's, what's, we'll look at the mormons right they went out there and they kept failing in all the places they went to until finally they had to take you know, the Great Lakes area, or not the Great Lakes, but the Salt Lake area, right? Because they were trying to turn a desert into an oasis. So now I'm looking at a map, I'm looking at where the desert place is. Because it's going to be a place where nobody else wants to settle, and you're going to turn that into an oasis. Right? So, yeah, I'm just saying, I misspoke. I didn't mean uh, an Irish dictionary. I pulled up a Scottish dictionary. And that's where I seen that they listed us in there with our tobacco you know and other stuff so i hope this video can stay up because i don't think i'm violating anything on here but as youtube has been lately um they've been censoring my page like crazy uh it was a sister warrior she made a comment two comments and i only can see one i had to go back into my emails to be able to see that she actually wrote twice and the comment has been removed. And I don't even, I don't even understand why. You know, there's nothing violent in it. There's nothing 
vulgar or disparaging. So I, I, I've just, <laughs> they've been doing that a lot, you know, um, then unadding followers, the people that I follow, I can't find anymore. So I'm, I don't know, you know, it's their property. I'm in their sandbox. They just don't like the message.